Argentina and France may transfer Super Etendard aircraft to Ukraine. Argentina is actively discussing with France the transfer of Super Etendard attack aircraft to Ukraine. Currently, these aircraft are inoperable due to an embargo imposed by the United Kingdom, according to Infobay. The discussion involves sending five Super Etendard combat aircraft, which have been decommissioned due to the embargo imposed by the UK against Argentina following the Falklands War. France's involvement is crucial to overcoming this geopolitical obstacle and Chancellor Diana Mondino and Defence Minister Louis Petri have been working for weeks to advance this secretive move which also involves the participation of the United States and NATO, the Infobay states. The five fighters are stored at the Espora Air Base in Puerto Belgrano because they require cartridges that enable the ejection seats in case of an emergency. Argentina does not have access to these cartridges due to the British embargo and since the planes arrived in Argentina, they have never been able to be used. It is expected that France will repair them and transfer them to Ukraine. The Super Etendard is a French supersonic carrier-based attack aircraft. It was developed based on the Etendard IVM aircraft and made its first flight on October the 28th, 1974. A total of 85 aircraft were built. It was exported to Argentina and a few were briefly operated by the Iraqi Air Force. The aircraft gained significant popularity during the Falklands War. In the French Navy, these aircraft are being retired and are planned to be completely replaced by Dassault Rafale multi-role fighters by 2015. The Falklands or Malvinas War of 1982 was a conflict between the United Kingdom and Argentina over control of the Falkland Islands. Neither Argentina nor the United Kingdom formally declared war on each other. From both perspectives, the military actions were seen as a restoration of control over their rightful territory. The war ended in a decisive victory for the United Kingdom, which continues to control the islands to this day. At least 41 people were killed when a fire broke out in a building that housed workers in Kuwait, the country's Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Fahad Yusuf Saad Al Sabah said on Wednesday during a visit to the site. The building caught fire on Wednesday morning. Dozens of people have been rescued from the building. There was a large number of workers in the building, a police commander told local TV. He added that there were many deaths as a result of inhaling smoke from the fire. Commenting on fire, Kuwaiti Deputy Prime Minister accused real estate owners. Unfortunately, the greed of real estate owners is what leads to these matters, he said. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
देखे जम्पन नहीं सांस लेने को नहीं हो रहा है इसलिए बाहर लटका है सांस ले रहा है